everybody, my name is Farmer Phil. Summer shirts are out. We are in an Indian summer. That's what they call a hot spell or a nice dry warm summery spell in September. We call it an Indian summer. But anyways, we are on the road. As you can see behind me there, they're at the whole crop. I'm just leaving the air now to go mowing. Our third cut silage. I can't remember the last time we done third cut silage. It's been a hell of a long time. So we're in the 99, we're in the butterfly moors, the Samaz butterfly moors, and we're going to be grouping our silage. Quite warm at the minute, grass is drying very quickly. So we're grouping it so we don't over dry it because we don't know when we're going to get lifted because we're trying to cut whole crop and that when it's damp and our silage when it's going to be due and that and combine when the middle of the day when it's dry so things might extend a little bit. So we're going to group it. Also this video is going to be an epic tale of silage from beginning to end from now me mowing till the covers on the pit is going to be a long one it, hopefully it will be a good one hopefully you'll enjoy it we're going to be on down to the field we're going to start mowing start grouping everything is serviced up and ready to go from the last day we'll get this grass on the ground and in 28 foot rows let's be on so ready to take down the mowers we'll leave her lift them up pull the latches on that let them down just press this button twice let them down in their own accord so while the back mowers are dropping down there get up our office steer so everything is on there so change we are in the big field so that's grand big field we are on swatting tree so when we're doing a job every time we go to the field so this is our third time cutting the field so we just hit swatting tree and then I know it's the third cut of this year. Do that with all our customers. That way I have a record of how long it took, how many acres of mud, and bloody bloody blah. Hit running man, and then that prompts our screen. And everything's already marked out in this field, so it's just a matter of getting the right line to load. There we go. So that's our line loaded. Now, so what I want to do is, no, I'm leaving my groupers down, so we're down. Checking dash, checking front more, maybe lift it up a little bit. So then just check everything is lifting up. Looking good. So I was only grouping with this one of these, so I am hoping that um, I shouldn't have to do anything with the back, the groupers. They should be just ready to rock and roll. I might have to change some of my uh, speeds, so I can change the speed at which the belt runs. So I just have to keep an eye on whether it's throwing it in too fast and making it lumpy or whether it's too slow and it's kind of making a big wide sword not making a nice tidy sword back more on she's on grab her up get back into a lower box 2B should be grand maybe 2A just to get going so then we hit down on the front more and then we don't let our back mowers down till we get as far as the front otherwise I'll have a strip of on more grass so we get to I'd say about there drop the back mowers where we are going so I'm just going to get the first round done make sure we get it as I want it to and then put up the camera then so I think that we are getting it on the ground so we're mowing away here and that strip there and along the canal in this all this this lower half or two quarters of this lower half of the hedge will be quite wet so just to avoid any issues i'm just going to keep up out of it and i think it's trying to mow into it but i'm just going to stay out of it for now going on how the tillage ground has been with the whole crop i can't see being an over hectic we will be putting calves here as soon as this is um lifted and we get slurry on it and the calves will leave whatever we don't cut so it's not going to go to loss but at the same time i don't want to be leaving tracks of me in the good silage field so we'll just keep out from the hedge and make sure we get a good job done on it uh prep seems light enough now so but well, as you're looking when we get the first round we'll show you what it's actually looking like from the ground and we'll talk a bit more about it later Can give her another one. So that's us doing just under 11 kilometers an hour there now. Let's speed up my loopers. At this speed, we won't be 
and now so I said I'd just show you what we've done so far so this one we're mowing you can see this is just a bit where there's a bit more stemmy it's the window great to see the window wind is drying so you can see that's kind of the height we're looking at you know lovely lovely leafy stuff for whatever reason some of the fields stem some of it isn't this is what it looks like in its nicely grouped row lovely lovely leafy stuff like real tasty that's good. So we fold up bacon back to the yard and we pick this up again either this evening when I get back to mailing or tomorrow morning and we finish. But yeah. And we are back it's the next day. We're gonna finish the mowing. So didn't finish bailing last night till four past two. So it's a lot of bailing. Thought oh, we were nearly finished bailing, but we still <laughs> went over 300 bales yesterday. Well I'm anyways. So this is what it looks like after a day of drying in a swart 24 hours mode and you know it's wilted quite well the grass is quite dry you know that is that's pretty damn good stuff that lovely 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 just on you know 
when you're scrooped in that you don't get the same wind and it's not going to dry the same but that really doesn't matter to us because we're putting it on the whole crop we want a little bit of extra weight so it packs in the whole crop and then any effluent or runoff from the third cut will be soaked up by the straw on the whole crop so you hold a lot more nutrients and it also helps preserve the whole crop as sometimes if your whole crop is quite ripe or very dry it doesn't ferment properly because it just lacks moisture so that's why we put the tur or another cut of grass on top of it because it just helps helps keep it helps keep it a lot better so um yeah i'm gonna fire up the drone there we get the last of this field down one hour into the mowing hopefully another hour and we'll be done Country songs, good old sweet home too. Broadway bars and loud guitars, backyard barbecues. Work on Monday, friends on Friday, college football beers. I got everything I need and I got it all right here. That's what it is. That's where it's at. That's what I like. Nothing wrong with that. Don't want to bust my groove, cause I'm on a road. Just having a good time, going with the flow, going with the flow. Andy Barney and B.O.B. fishing poles and boats, pontoon Sunday afternoons, anything that floats. Bo and Luke and all the dupes, dirt roads on TV, radios and rodeos, works just fine for me, that's what it is. That's where it's at, that's what I like, nothing wrong with that, don't want to bust my groove, cause I'm on a roll, just having a good time, going with the On a starlit southern night, that's what it is. That's where it's at. That's what I like. Nothing wrong with that. Don't wanna bust my groove, cause I'm on a road. Just having a good time, going with the flow. Yeah, that's what it is. That's where it's at. That's what I like. Nothing wrong with that. Don't wanna bust my groove. Having a good time Going with the flow Get in touch with you on getting bit of work done, and 
One of them was to bring the house phone, which uh, if everyone was away working, it was whoever was there to take the message. We found when we were cleaning out some of the house, and we should be showing you when we get back to doing a bit with the house, but there's a notebook of, I think it's from either the early 1990s or the late 80s or the 80s or something, and it's all phone messages that my granny would have wrote down. It was so-and-so is looking for a ram, or so-and-so is looking for a bit of and done, or so-and-so is looking for some uh, dung spread or whatever. It's just a book of literally names, dates, and what was being looked for. And it just, it kind of reminded me of, of the old way. Another way that people got in touch with my father or the uncle for doing work was they'd arrive into the field when he'd be working. So if he was bailing for so-and-so, he might have the neighbour come in and say, when you finish here, will you, be, will you do mine? And that, they were the two ways that, like, prior to mobile phones, the higher work was, was done. And it's just mad to think, and like, it just got me thinking as well, to be able to manage work when you have a lad coming into the field, and he said, will you get mine done tomorrow or today or the next job or whatever, and then someone's ringing the house phone to say, and you get to me at the same time, and you don't really realize what's come in. Try to get lined up here. You wouldn't realize what had come in on the, the telephone at home till you got home at the end of the day, and you might have already lined out work for the next day, and then you have to try and include that. So it's it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty um, mad to think of how to manage it back then. But we're just about finished here. Rose ringing me, so I better answer it. And um, yeah. God bless the mobile phone. Yeah, and that is us finished. One end to the other, almost. And the moment of truth, we have driven harder than I think I've ever driven before mowing the field. Because it's just that, that lovely stage where it was easy cut. How much time did we save on the last two times? Two hours, 20 minutes. So, that means that we were about 16, I think 34 and 36, or 34 and 38. We're about 14 18 minutes faster than first and second cut, so it's not a lot. I thought it'd be more to be honest, but it is what it is. So we fold up and we bait on to the next two fields. There's only eight acres left to mow in two fields red clover and the field opposite that. Happy days, we bait on, and we are out here on a red clover. So, as you can see, there's a pretty decent crop here, so there is. A little bit mucky just inside, well not mucky, but just ground is a bit tore up inside the gate. <coughs> but a fantastic crop of clover, fantastic. It's plenty of it coming in it. It really has come on very well this year. It's hard to quantify the quantity over last year because last year we bailed it, this year it's all gone into the pit. But the definitely there's more clover in it. The clover seems to be really pushing on. And one thing I can say about the red clover is you'll never see a field of grass after being mown to come back as quick. It is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Very happy with how it's doing. So we're going to change our mower so we don't cut our node at the bottom. So just for, I'll say it again every time I cut it. So when you cut red clover, you have to keep up more up about three inches to avoid cutting the regrowth node on the clover which is above the level of the ground above the level of the clay so I don't know where it is somewhere there maybe whereas your grass it regrows from below the surface of the soil so you can cut grass at the soil and it will come back once you don't cut below the soil whereas clover its regrowth node is above the soil so you have to avoid cutting it otherwise the plant will die and you won't, you'll cut all your red clover out of it so go and group it which we'll see how well it wilts. It, red clover kind of needs a bit of wilting to get the nitrogen out of it. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works. Also, for anyone wondering, there's a site there and there's a site the other side of the road. You would have seen two sites. Just so you know, we're not building houses or anything. This is rented land and the landowner is, has sold two sites off the land. So just, you know, we're not building around. That's just what that is. So. Don't have as much to mow as we did the last time, but how oh, ever, we get it done. So we're mowing away here the finest, as you can see. No, 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 it's here. Just a 
Yeah, it's gone that small, it's nearly not worth trying to use it. Um, but as you can see there, we're getting a lovely, lovely clean cut. Uh, compared to the last crop, our second cut, where it was bet into the ground with the wet weather, this time around, it's it's not in lovely order. Lovely standing, lovely leafy bit of grass. And this is actually only grown about six weeks as we graze this about two weeks after we cut it and then we spread it with slurry and we went on again for this so like it's a serious ripped over sport just as a serious serious growing potential serious but doing a lovely lovely clean job now compared to the last time so it's nice to see a nice clean cut so it's just crossed the road across and it's not the worst place to cross but it's not simple but Naha legends or heroes wear capes a lad in a white van same as the last time when I was coming out not the same van or that but just another a man in a white van he pulled up hit the hazards stopped the traffic and waved me out so hats off to you sir people like you keep the show on the road and make the road a safer place especially when you're driving big machinery like this because it's not simply getting out of fields on our junctions or that but credit where credit is due anyways time to go and mow this another probably shorter the lightest crop of stuff we have and um, because this would be all grass i don't think this might have never been receded but um it's lovely leafy stuff all the same so we put a nice top on the pit so we unfold we get grouping and we get this wrapped up and that is us done all grouped for this year all turd cut down this is what we have it's actually lovely lovely leafy stuff it is actually quite dry standing and um, actually surprisingly quite dry so yeah it's gonna make some good stuff it's actually heavier than i thought it was going to be tractor and mowers don't know have we much more to do for the year but one thing we do have to do is we will be going to the national plowing championships in rahaniska <coughs> county leash whatever week it is on i can't remember off the top of my head is it the 17 18 19 19 20 21st something like that tuesday wednesday thursday we'll be there again with the butterfly moors will be on the Egmont Agri stand we may be on the Herdwatch stand as well we'll have more information closer to the time we're still trying to sort out a few minor details and we'll also be there with the horse box and a lock of t-shirts to sell of a limited edition pound match special so yeah you'll see me there again this year we'll be there for the three days Father Phil will be there on the Tuesday and yeah so we'll be home back to the yard we go figure out what's happening next i think they're just finishing the whole crop and then moving on to the silage so yeah we'll go home and figure that out and we'll continue the video with bit silage we bait on back to the yard and start lifting silage and we are back from baling and it is hell for leather back at home lights are on it is quarter past one and I don't know how far down at silage when go to get the 36 nitty go down for a load fly the drone come back up probably take off the trailer and then give Lee a hand rolling the pair so I'm just trying to make his life a little bit easier so I've been away bailing all evening and night and uh, they're at the silage and Father Phil says we're not stopping till it's all in tonight so the pit is barely sizing up now we get to put the baler in the shed out of the way we go get some silage brought in so Liv just pulled into the yard before I got to the 3690 and I told her what I was going to do and Liv was like, no, you're going to get in the way. So I said, okay, that's fine. If you say I'm going to get in the way, I will be in the way. So I'm going to go down with Liv now and find the drone where he's on the bottom. It's on my feet. Pretty. So it's a very cozy cab here with two dogs and two people. Midnight grass. It's gone midnight. I know it's gone midnight. This is the epic silage video. I'm trying to fill the back there as it used to be done. Is he? Over the top, sir. Back's full, I think, if you will find. I'll leave the professionals to it. I rarely ever draw silage. Another load filled. Yeah, at least you can see the gap. Where? Where the trees are, there. This way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're just waiting for Bro to come out. 
uh, just the yard is getting quite fun so no point being in the yard all at the one time Liv has it down to a fine art that she has have I? yeah a fine art can't really see a whole lot unless I point forward so yeah. late night silent you away I think there's enough I think what, what do you have that for? because my phone was dead and I couldn't see anything coming into the yard Okay. Up we go. Hold on, Bertie. So my job now is to just roll the pit. It's the one job when you're under pressure on a pit. It's the one thing you just don't have time to do. And from my experience, having that extra machine on the pit just rolling it's a huge difference to being able to actually shift the grass up as it gives a firmer base for the shovel to climb through compaction of the grass which then needs to you just go up and down that little bit quicker the biggest problem with this pit is it's such a long way to the back it really hampers when you're trying to get grass up to the back of the pit it just takes time and that's that's really is. We probably should probably go and invest in a second book grade. Because this tends to happen quite often. But anyways, we're gonna roll away here. We'll just try and give Lee as good a help as I can with what I have. This is a lot. And that is all the grass in the pit. So we have a bit of tidying to do in the morning just to go back to the channel, get on top of it, give it a good roll, and I'd say it's going to roll in quite quite a nice bit. I'd say I said we could take two foot off it. It's in, it's three o'clock in the morning, time to go get some sleep, and we'll go back at it again tomorrow. So and there's the next day, bro's just about to leave to go um rowing for bailing. We get in, we got in the pit, give it a good rowling, and we get this cover on it. Looks like a fair pit when you're walking in the avenue. So we're in the shovel now. I'm just taking off, grabs off the front. So we have to shove the face back to the channel. The channel is somewhere around the grey base of that green plastic across just to above that lump of concrete there if you can see. So I'm hoping to get away with maybe two or three grabs along the front. With this, I'm just going up the pit, just finding areas that <coughs> take a little bit of grass. And um, once we get all up, then we'll start rolling. There's an absolutely lovely smell of this stuff. It'll be interesting to see what the results come back when we get it analyzed for its, its feed values. See whether our first, second or third cut has the most feed value. But that turret cut really does smell nice. Real sweet of itself, which I think is a good sign. Put an hour or more to finish this off. Between getting it shoved back and then getting it rolled in. So we want to get a good roll on it. Just try and tidy up some of the grass that got out. Taking a grab. Get it rolled back just to let some grass fall into where you pulled it out. And then up a bit. I said I'd let Lee finish the pit he started, so <coughs> I'll um, roll away here, that way while he's getting that done I'm getting the pit nicely compacted so it saves us a little bit of time in, in rolling 
all crap under it is always very spongy so it really does especially when you get a bit of weight on it it always does condense down quite well so the bit of rolling now do a nice job of it we we'll just keep on rolling so we're rolling away here father phil is just starting to um tidy up the loose grass at the front lee has it all pushed back so very far in the bucket just tidying it up We're just on the pit, rolling away here to our heart's content. The yeah, other well packed in. So, <coughs> I did have a wee whoopsie though, I probably should pull up the camera. I meant for a thumbnail or something. Went too far to the edge of the pit, and the back wheels just started spinning as she was and going backwards. Luckily, the dog was on the embankment, and I just took off the edge and round and around. So, it did a lot of work. Sands and butts changes nothing, we're still rolling. <laughs> and that is the pit finished. I just finished rolling the edges there, but I think we're pretty good at that. Lee's just after scraping up around the edge, so we're ready for the cover now. So there's not much more to begin, so we get down off the pit. We pack her up. And that is the pit finished. I think we've had a higher pit at the back, but I don't think we've had it as high to the front. You no, know, it's one of the bigger pits we've made, but not the biggest pit. That'd be my opinion on it. But we definitely have enough fodder. Um, in that, no two ways about it. We'll be grand for fodder now, which is what we want. We run tight last year. Well, we literally run out on it for the grill rip. Time now to do the real fun bit of making silage and put the cover on it. You look busy, Liv. Huh? So, as you can see down there, we're the new, uh, what do you call it, way box? The new way box for the crush is after coming. So, we'll show you, That's it's, it's for another video now to show you, but we have to get that installed and ready to rock and roll before the bulls come in. That's a video for another day, but a new way box so we have to roll up our roll cover back up the pit now so um, I have to figure out how to get this done right find someone to put down the camera till we try and get this roll this should cover more than half of the pit should Huh? Pull it down. Oh. That's it, it's just whatever way it's caught. Yeah, the other cover should meet that one now. Give it one more try. Putting in some elbow grease, you don't care if it's hard. Homeboy's gonna help you out. Fix it in the yard. Yeah. Dealer's too expensive. So, we have the back half covered. Waiting for Father Phil to come with another sheet so we can roll down the back cover onto a front cover and fold everything up and finish shaking tires. Oh, it's a tiring job, isn't it, Liv? Tiring. Tiring. <laughs> oh, we're funny, aren't we? Mm. All right, Bertie, we're funny dogs. And now it's been it's been over a week since we covered the pit. We're just on top of it, just kind of give us size. Show show you the size of the pit. It has sunk quite well. A good two foot. We reckon maybe a little bit more. We have all our tires on it, and we've cattle in since we cut, and we'll probably open it in another week. Not going to be in too long. We're trying to get three weeks if we can before we open it. Also, yeah, thirty six ninety. We can tell you we were rolling barley for a customer, and we had to bring up a means of loading. But um, yeah, that's his the pit in and dusted. Father Phil is. A little bit skeptical about whether we'll have enough. I think we do have enough. I think it's more than last year, but time will tell. As you can see the maze there behind us, how that bulks in will be a bit of a determining factor as well. And we do have 12 acres of, or actually more, there's more than that up there. That's 12 ish acres of griller rape or 14 acres of griller rape there. And we have 80 bales of hay and 60 bales of silage. So I think. 
I think we'll be good enough. I think once there's no hiccup selling cattle, we should be fine. Here's the pain. Now, on other news, we are going to the plowing match. You're watching this on Sunday. We'll be at the plow match Tuesday. We have everything left down. And the one thing I will say to anyone who's going, bring the wellies. Pretty mucky at the minute. And that's before anything happens. Bring the wellies. Just don't even bother going in shoes or boots. Just bring wellies. <laughs> a bit mucky but um this is what it is but we are on row 11 stand 205 that's where we will be with the 64.99 the butterfly moors we'll have our merchandise tent here with a brand new limited edition t-shirt coming out for it go more big or go home and we have a good stock of merchandise for the three days and if we still have any of the limited edition t-shirts after the plowing, they'll go online for anyone who can't go to the plowing to get a t-shirt. We'll have whatever stock is over. The reason we're going to the plowing this year with merchandise is because we're trying to raise money to get our farm shop done. And that's, we've pushed hard this year going to different shows across, well, mostly fairly local within an hour or two of a drive. And we've done a lot more shows this year and it's all to try and rise the money to do the farm shop so anyone who supports us at the plow by buying a t-shirt buying a mug buying a pen pencil whatever just so you know you're helping us get that farm shop done but, oh and another thing for anyone who is waiting on announcing the competition winners for our competition we'll do that the weekend after the plowing because we're just so busy we haven't had time Liv has them up on the wall but we just haven't had time to really go through them so they still have one week to get your entries in and then we'll do the winners on that so anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video time will tell whether see what the quality is when we open paying our first second and third and whole crop and whether we have saved enough fodder for this year whether three cuts was the way to go to get more quality silage into the pit but, and of course we'll make a video when the time comes anyways i'm gonna leave it at that for today's video look forward to seeing you all at the plowing championships this year on tuesday wednesday and thursday at Rahaniska. i'll be on the eggman agri stand at 11 o'clock which is row 11 stand 205 in the mornings i'll be just having a gander around making a bit of a video seeing and chatting all the different stands and that but from 11 o'clock onwards you'll catch me there and the shop will be open our horse box will be open from the very beginning of the day as we have some staff got to do the, well i say staff me sisters and it's just a what is it upgrading i don't know anyways we're gonna leave it at that for today's video i've rambled on long enough hope to see you all at the plum that's it for me please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday good luck